Good evening, everybody, boys, girls. Good evening. How are you this night? Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Kevin, Adrian, Sandra, Margarita, Kenya, Vanessa. Welcome, Rebecca, Vanessa. Who else we have? Evelyn, Sandra, Guadalupe. Hello, my hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Maria Emilia, welcome. Melba, Patricia. We also have Alba, Marisol. We have uh, Aaron. Welcome. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome, guys. Everybody, welcome to your session on Thursday. How do you feel today, this night? Very Are good. You nice? You're very nice. Very nice. Full yes. energy. Full energy, right? Like, like every day. That's good. That is the attitude. <laughs> Rebecca Flores, welcome, girl. How are you? You're good? Yes, I'm good. Okay? How are you? You're good. I'm yeah. fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Remember yesterday, we have started with jobs, right? Occupations, professions. Let's have, I have here a, a short exercise in the one we investigate. What's her job? What's her job? Tell me. Science. Ah, a scientist, right? So she's a scientist. So that will be the answer, right? Here we have, what's her job? She's a scientist. What about the second one? What's his job? Remember here we use the possessive depending on the person, depending on the subject. As this is he, possessive is his. As this is she, the possessive is her. So what is the answer here? Rebecca, Rebecca Flores. What's his He's job? A pilot. He's a pilot. Very good. A pilot. What about this one? What's your job? Now you're going to talk about your job. In my case, I'm a teacher. So this will be like direct question. I'm a teacher. Now let's formulate the other question. Let's see. Sandra Margarita, what's your job? I don't have job. You don't have a job? Not by the moment? No. Not by the moment. Okay, that's good. Now you're going to formulate the question then to Aaron. Formulate the question. What's your job? Aaron, what's your job? Nice. Hello, teacher. Hello, Aaron. Hey, good evening, Blanca. Nice. Welcome. Repeat, please. Can you repeat it, please? Repeat the question. What's your job? Nice. Thank you. He's... Um, you, you. Direct question. Know, it's, What's your job? I am. I am. I am. Uh -huh, you can say I am. You can say am if it's a contraction. I am a chef. Very good. I am a chef. Very good job. Now let's see. Evening, you formulate the question to Blanca. <clears throat> Blanca, what's your job? Very good. Blanca, are you present? Where are you? <laughs> She's not there. <laughs> okay, let's see to Kevin, please. Evelyn, can you please repeat the question to Kevin? Yes. Kenny, what's your job? Thank you. Hi, Evelyn. Good night. I Hi, am good personal evening. training. Ah, very good. I'm a personal trainer. Great. That's good. Thank you. Let's see. Kenya, Vanessa, you formulate the question to Maria Emilia. Maria Emilia, what's your job? Job. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. What's your job? What's your job? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Emilia? I am cashier. A cashier. A cashier. cashier. Very good job. Nice one. Okay. Nevi. Hey, Nevi. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Agarra la noche. Yes. Nevi. 
You formulate no, the question mira. to Blanca. Rafael, quiero, welcome. Nice cualquiera de las que están ahí, Miss. Eh, this question, what's your job? A ver, si It's a direct a question. What's your job? Blanquita, what's his job? What's your job? Direct question. What's his job? Your job. Your job. Ajá, what's correct. his your job? No, your job, your job. Your Porque job. Directa, pregunta directa. Muy bien. Entonces sería, what is your job? No, what is your job? What is? Ajá. What is your job? Ajá, that's good. Es que okay. aquí aparece contractada. Puede ser, what's your job? Or, what is your job? Ah, muy bien. Uh -huh. Ya la hice. Thank you, Blanca. Eh, solo, solo dígame, ¿qué job? Job. Trabajo. Trabajo. Ah, ¿Qué, ¿Cuál ¿qué es trabajo, trabajo tengo yo? ¿Qué trabajo Ajá. tengo yo? Exactly. Ah, okay. What's your job? You say, I'm a lawyer, eh. I'm a dentist, I'm a doctor. Eh, yeah. Puede decir, um, housewife. Yeah, that's good. I'm a housewife. Yeah, that's good. I'm a housewife. And barber gear. I'm a? In barber gear. In a barber? In a barber girl. Barber girl. What do you mean with barber girl? Barber girl. What do you mean with barber girl? Si no tiran, brevón. Help me with the audio, housewife. please. Housewife. Housewife, like ama de casa, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. That is a difficult job, right? Trabajo algo difícil, housewife. You have to do a lot of activities in your house, so it's very difficult. It's not simple. Thank you. Vanessa está poniendo en ejemplo otro, otra profesión. <laughs> Todas las profesiones. <laughs> La profesión de mamá. Hola, <laughs> What's your job? I'm a mother. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Pero yo también este, es, um, soy este barber girl, como le digo. But what do you mean with barber girl? Barber girl. What is a barber girl? How do you spell it? Oh, that means like a stylist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or you can say pero, also a, a hair stylist. Pero no es salón de belleza, entonces, no, teacher. No, solo es barbería para, para hombre. Ah, okay. Then you work in a barber shop. Barber. Um, uh -huh. pero, pero en eh, yo estaba viendo que mujer... Cuando es barbera mujer, barber girl. You can say like that, or also like hairdresser. Okay. Or a hairstylist. There are different manners. Because barber is like barbero, right? Or barbera. Like a uh -huh. barber. Sí. I'm a barber. Her barber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as it's possible, right? If you develop, you know, desarrolla esas mismas actividades, that is correct. You can use it. Uh -huh. I'm a barber. Um, okay. A barber. Like with a contraction. A barber. Okay, good one. Now let's see more questions. Glenda Guadalupe, you formulate the questions to Rafael. <laughs> Glenda, are you present? <clears throat> Rafael, no problem with the audio? No, no problem. Okay. okay, can you please formulate the question to Judy Edith? What's your job? Okay, Judy, what's your job? Nice. Hello. Uh -huh. Problems with the audio. No se le oye. Yes, there is problems, Judith. Let me see. Aquí está que ya va a caer yeah. una buena tormenta y he tenido también problemas con la conexión. Uh -huh. yeah. no yes, we cannot listen. No se escucha, Judith. Hola. Okay, now yes. Oh, we, sí. Now we can listen. We can listen to you. Yes. Okay. Can you please repeat it? 
Judy, what's your job? Nice. My job, sería así? Or well, you can say, I am. I am. I am. Um, no sé si se dice así, ¿verdad? Human, eh, como jefa o gerente de recursos humanos. Ah, ok. Human, human Resources Manager. Ok, Human Resources Manager. Excelente, that's good. A human Resources Manager. Me puede dar trabajo. Give Con us gusto, job. Aro. Con gusto, Aro. Very good. <laughs> can have a job with you, did. That's nice. She's the manager. Yes. A human resource. She directs. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Dudu. Very good job. Nice. Okay. So in this one, you investigate, right? Direct question. What's your job? Right? What's your occupation? What's your profession? Very good. Okay. Now let's see. In the next one, with the platform. As we have here the picture, and we indicate by numbers. And we have in number one, A, what's his job? He is a receptionist. As remember that receptionist is not only for women, right? It can also be for men. What about number two? What's her job? What's her job? So he says, she's a doctor. And number three, what's her job? She's a nurse. So they have different occupations and also professions. The next part that we have is the other objective. We will learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH question. To sound natural, it means like more fluent. And we have WH questions. Remember the structure, right? We have WH words, auxiliary, do or does. That depends on the subject. We have the verb. And what is the form of the verb in the question? You remember? Uh, normal. It's the base form, right? Uh -huh. It's the original form, the base form. Then you have the object or the complement. Then after the complement, you have the question mark because it's an interrogative. <clears throat> we have some example here in a short conversation. He says, what do you do? I'm an architect. And you? I'm a banker. Where do you work? I work in the National Bank. That sounds interesting. So let's observe here that we have two types of questions, right? Well, the same form of question, but different investigation that you have. The first one, what do you do? Is the same as what's your job? So it's another manner to investigate. It's more common to use what do you do? Es más común preguntarlo como what do you do que what's your job? But the two forms are correct. And the other question is where do you work? But that is different question, right? Here is the place. And what investigates like the specific activity that you develop or that you do in a specific company, you have enterprise or place. Then we got our video on the platform. A question, Miss. Tell me. <clears throat> Miss. Tell me. Tell me, Miss. Maybe, maybe, sorry. Que tengo la duda porque en uno se da work y en otros job. Mm, okay, the difference here is when you say work, this is general work. Work es como una palabra generalizada que se refiere a trabajo, pero también a trabajar. O sea, puede trabajar también como acción. Por ejemplo, no, if you no say, I work. No a qué. Ajá, pero ya si dice job, me refiero a la actividad específica la que yo desarrollo. So, job, no podemos utilizar esa palabra job como trabajar, no como acción, sino a la actividad que yo desempeño, mi responsabilidad. You should say, this is my job. Ese es mi trabajo. This is my job. Uh -huh. And my work es como más generalizado. Pero también se utiliza work como trabajar, como la acción, como el verbo, pero también como el lugar donde uno trabaja, at work. Dependiendo de la estructura, si yo digo, eh, where are you right now? ¿Dónde está ahorita? Where are you right now? I am at work. 
pero lleva proposición cat, que me indica lugar. O sea, puede Es como utilizarlo de, de diferente. Pero job es si como, es solo actividad. mi es como, ¿Qué digamos, es? Eh, la empresa, digamos, como el nombre de la empresa. Like the name. Como la, la empresa, digamos, más que todo. Y el job es para, así como, el cargo que desempeño en la empresa. Es, es, su, es su responsabilidad. Ajá. This is my job. Ese es mi trabajo. Esa es su función. Es lo que usted desempeña. Uh -huh. Y work, pues puede referirse de acuerdo a si la estructura después del sujeto lleva work, entonces es una acción. I work in Pizza Hut, for example. I work in Los Cebollines. I work in the hospital. So what is your job? Like, ¿Cuál es tu trabajo? ¿Qué, qué desempeñas? ¿Cuál es tu ocupación? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference that you have. Thank you, Miss. My Clarice. pleasure. Any other question? Okay, let's watch the video then. <clears throat> Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? <laughs> what do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English and notice the reduction of do and does. All right, guys, now as you saw the video, so we can observe that we have different questions and the pronunciation is a little bit different because of the auxiliaries and the WH words. For example, here in a complete question, you have, where do you work? You put emphasis on the WH. Why? Because you investigate something in a specific. So you say, where do you work? So in do you, there is a reduction of that. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Now let's see here, complete manner. Where do you work? Where do you work? Notice here, if you put do you together, it sounds more natural. Suena más natural, más fluido. Suena como si una palabra se está juntando y hay dos, ¿no? Y hay two words may want. 
dos palabras hacen una. Pero suena más, más, más rápido, right? It's fluent. So, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? And do suena como ereo. Where do you? Where do you work? And where do you work? Where do you work? Where, do you work? where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Like with R. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? You see, there is a difference there in the intonation also and the pronunciation. So, según su pronunciación, Miss, como que le da mayor relevancia a la primera palabra. Because of the WH. Mayor uh -huh. fuerza de voz a eso, a la primera palabra. Y el exactly. otro como que, como se que va bajando. bajando. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Se va bajando la entonación acá porque acá lo que más importa es lo que investigo. Where? Where do you? Porque las, los auxiliares acá siempre van a ir, ¿verdad? Where do you work? And the verb. Where does she work? So it's intonation. Es para ponerle más énfasis en lo que uno investiga. Right? Now, let's see here. We have another exercise. It says, ask questions about these people. Where do they work? What do they do? How do they like it? Okay, we know that. Where do they work is the area where they have the, the work. What do they do? The specific activity, the occupation or the profession. And how do they like it is the opinion that they have about the job that they have. We oh, sorry. We are here. Yes. We have here different people. Ben. Where does Ben work? Where does he work? He works in? What do you think? Yes. Yes. But where? Where does he work? Yes. The place. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. Okay. What yes. does he do? Yes. He's a waiter, right? Uh-huh. That's good. A waiter. A waiter. So, he is a waiter. Where does Ben work? He works in a restaurant, in a hotel, right? Different places where they serve the food. What about o sea, Claudia? Esa primera pregunta es, donde, es el lugar. It's about the place, exactly. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's about the place. Now, if you investigate about his occupation or profession, then you investigate where does Ben, eh, what does Ben do? That's the occupation. But the place is where? The area. What about Claudia? What does Claudia do? She works in a hospital. Not the place. The occupation. She is a doctor. She is a doctor. She is a doctor, doctor right? Doctor. Ah, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Like the, the occupation, right? Now, where okay. does she work? Now is the place. Where does she work? She hospital. Works. She works in a hospital. Okay. It's a hospital. That's good. Now, let's check. Is this correct, correct. or incorrect? She works in a incorrect. hospital. Incorrect. He's Why? He works. He works. Excellent. He's missing sure. the letter S because it's third person H singular. H exactly. Uh -huh. Third person. You see? You need to see it because the only one letter and it's incorrect. Perfect. Uh -huh. That's right. What about the next one? What do Vicky and Owen do? We got Vicky and Owen. What do you think? What do Vicky and Owen do? Clienta. Vicky and Owen. No. no. Vicky and Owen? They yes. have an occupation, right? Or a studio. Aha. Uh -huh. That will be the place. Photography studio. 
but that's the place. But what about their occupation? What do they do? Cajero. Cajero. Cashiers. Photographer. It can be photographers also. Okay. So it can change, right? Let's suppose that they are cashiers. Because it's asking about them, right? Investigates about the two persons. They are they are cashiers. Are... Like in the plural manner. They're cashiers. This is the, like the two persons. And they assist in the customer and cliente. This is the customer, right? The customer is this. Tell me. Pero en este caso, si ella está, bueno, si ella, ella indirectamente, si está ahí a la par de él, mmm, ahí se estamos diciendo que los dos son cajeros. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, but in this case, Supposedly, if he she is in a break, and he is, probably sometimes they are both the same occupation. A veces ambos tienen la misma eh, ocupación. Podría ser que él esté solo de cajero en este momento y esté descansando o se están turnando. But you, you can divide, también se puede dividir, ¿verdad? Que Owen is a cashier and she is a salesperson. También se puede dividir to use like this. If you say Vicky is a sales person, vendedora, it can be. Owen, Vicky. We have Vicky. Yes. Vicky is a sales person. Owen is a cashier. That is in the case that they have different functions. En el caso que tengan como dos funciones diferentes, porque aquí parece que Vicky ella es la que está atendiendo, ¿verdad? Está dando como el producto. Uh -huh. So she's like the salesperson. En el caso de que ambos sean cajeros, then it will be they are cashiers. They are cashiers. They are cashiers. No, no, Now let's no, check our no. other activity. <laughs> Questions about this? Any other question? Miss, este, yes. cuando dice how do you how do you they like it? ¿A qué se refiere? Me dijo? How did they like it? It means or like they ask you how do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's like about your job. For example, if they mm -hmm. ask you, eh, what do you do? I'm a, I'm a nurse. Wow, interesting. And how do you like it? It's very cool. It's fun. It's interesting. Or I like it very much. It's an opinion. Es una opinión que uno tiene de la ocupación o de la actividad que realiza. And uh, how do uh, they like it? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. ¿Qué te parece? How do you like it? ¿Qué te parece? Um, it's good. I like it. I don't like it. That will be negative, can be positive, or it can be a negative opinion about that. So if you have this, Thank how you, do Miss. they like it? You're welcome. In the case of how do they like it is because it's plural. Ah, porque se refiere a ellos. ¿Qué les parece? ¿Qué les parece a ellos? Eh, en Miss. su trabajo, right? Yes. Aquí en donde están Vicky and Owen, ¿por Ajá. qué se what do Vicky and Owen do? Oh, okay. This one, because this one is working as an auxiliary. Acá está trabajando do como auxiliar, pero este otro do es mi verbo. ¿Sí? Es este de nada hacer. Más, es del verbo hacer. Ajá. Este nada más es mi auxiliar, que no lo traducimos. Es nada más está ahí para saber en qué tiempo yo estoy formulando una pregunta. Pero este de acá sí. al final, ese verbo me va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Depende de cuál sea la acción que yo quiero representar. En este caso es el verbo hacer o realizar. En be also do. Yeah. Ajá, o dedicarse. En este caso, porque como preguntamos de las profesiones u ocupaciones, es a qué se dedican. ¿Qué hacen? ¿A qué se dedican? Ah, they are cashiers. Vicky is a salesperson. Owen is a cashier. Y se va a ocupar, mis cuando me imagino sea solamente eh, eh, más de una persona. When it's do, not necessarily, because you can also use it for you. 
también se puede utilizar para you. Ya sea para I, you, we, and they. Four subjects. I, you, we, and they is do. For the auxiliary, right? And also do. Pero la forma del verbo acá no me va a cambiar. Cualquiera que sea el verbo siempre va a ser en forma base. Porque estoy formulando una pregunta. Y ya lleva okay. un auxiliar. Ahora, si fuera una afirmación, entonces el verbo va a ir das si es tercera persona, ya sea he, she, or it. Que la pregunta también va así, ¿verdad? Porque es auxiliar. What does Claudia do? But here because Claudia is a she. Que no be what do Claudia do? No, right. What does Claudia do? What does she do? What does he do? What does Ben do? Where does Ben work? So for third person is different. You need to use does. The third person form of the verb. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Let's go ahead on the next part then. Let's see some other examples here. We have the case of more vocabulary. We have in number one, she's a chef. Number two, he's a writer. Three, she's a manager. Four, she's a scientist. <laughs> Now, we have in number one, formulate questions. What does Federica do? Remember about Peluche <laughs> family. What does Federica <laughs> do? <laughs> And this is number one. Give me the answer, please. <clears throat> She's a chef. Huh? Right, very good. She's a chef. She's a chef. Where does she work? Restaurant. Okay, complete answer, please. She, She is... works. Works, excellent. Works, works. in a, in, in in a, a restaurant. In a restaurant. Good That's pizza good. Hub. In Pizza Hut restaurant, in Los Cebollines, in a hotel. Okay, different places that she can work. What about Miss, number two? Tell me. Una pregunta. Cuando vamos a mencionar el nombre del, del, del restaurante, ¿va a ir antes del restaurant o va a ir después? It depends. It depends on pues the name mencioné. of the restaurant. Todo depende de cuál nombre lleva el restaurante. Porque, por ejemplo, hay restaurantes que llevan en sí el nombre restaurante. Mm -hmm. eh, in the case that you say, uh, she works in Pizza Hut. Ella trabaja en Pizza Hut. Pero a veces Pizza Hut puede ser restaurante o puede ser food court. Mm -hmm. So you need to specify, okay. right? You need to say the specific place that that you mentioned. But if it's okay. just like the name, Los Cebollines, for example, where do you work? I work in Los Cebollines or Los Cebollines Restaurant. Ese restaurant no es necesario porque en la pregunta ya lo indicamos. Ya está como implícito. A menos okay. que, como les mencionaba, el nombre propio del restaurante lleve restaurant. Rancho okay. Viejo. Remember Rancho Viejo? Pueblo Viejo. Or Pueblo Viejo, right? Well, I'm inventing now, my God. <laughs> Por eso no me encajaba. No me encajaba. Así, Rancho Viejo. Ya, que ya ni, ya ni lo Era un viejo. Era un viejo. Era, era, era viejo. Eso sí es cierto. Era viejo ya. So the, it was a good place, right? It was very popular place. So that's nice place. What about number two? What does Ludovico do? He is teacher. Number two. Imagine that number two. Aha, uh -huh. he's, he's a writer. writer. Imagine that's number two, right? He is a writer. A writer. That's correct. Nice. Where does he work? Invent the place. Okay. He works uh -huh. in a office. Ah, that's good. Okay. Or, he works. Or correo. 
Ah, uh, at the post office. It can be. He works in the post office. She works. She uh -huh. works in uh, el diario de hoy. <laughs> ah, very good. You can also say a specific place. He works in el diario de hoy. You see this one? We don't translate. No lo traducimos porque sí es el nombre propio tal y como está. He works in el diario de hoy. What about number three? He is waiter. 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 Waiter means mesero. Or means writer. Writer or waiter? Writer. This one. This one. Number two. Yes. Escritor. Sí. Escritor. Oh. O oh, escritora. It can be also a woman. Okay. Let's go ahead. Okay. Here come. What about number three? You are going to invent the name. Rebecca mm -hmm. Flores. Invent mm -hmm. a name, please, and formulate the question with number three. A question or a answer? Ahead. The question, the question. Formulate the question. What does and invent a name for the manager? Invent. Um. What does Ajá. Ana do? Very good. What does Ana do? Kevin? What will be the answer? What does Ana do? Um, Ana? Uh -huh. uh, lawyer. Okay, Ana is a lawyer. But what Ana about here? Lawyer. It's according to the, the picture, number three. Yes. So she imagine she's a manager. a manager. She's a manager. She's a manager. Anna is a manager. A manager. All right. That's good. Okay. Now let's see. Rafael, go ahead with number four and formulate the question to Blanca. Invent okay. the name. Invent it. Okay. Um... In uh, number four? four? In number four, correct. Okay. Um, Mary is a scientist? Ask the question. Ask the question. But you need to formulate it like this. What does? Uh -huh. Because yeah, yeah, you okay. need to use the auxiliary. Okay. <clears throat> what does uh, Mary do? Mary. What does Mary do? What does Mary do? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Blanca, answer. What um, does Mary do? She's a Mary uh, a scientist. A she's, she's, um, a she's a scientist. A scientist. A scientist. Pero no, no, no necesariamente el nombre, Mary. You can substitute. Se puede sustituir. Ya que en la pregunta ya va el nombre, entonces la respuesta ya no es necesario. Ahora, okay. es opcional. Pero si utiliza el nombre, ya no va el she. Ya no va a ir al oh. subject pronoun. Sería Mary a scientist. Mary is, is a scientist. A scientist. A scientist. scientist. That's okay. correct. Okay. So there you have other vocabulary here. You have another one that is, well, she's a chef that we say. He's a writer. She's a manager. She's a scientist. He's a pilot. He's a photographer. He's an engineer. He's a doctor. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Lista. Lista. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. We're going to pass the list. Well, let me know if you are present, please. Aaron. Present, miss. Thank you. Alba Marisol. Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Evelyn Yesenia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Fernando. Fernando de Jesus. Ah, Present as a listener. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Present. 
Thank you. Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Kenia Vanessa. Juan, Juan Alberto, are you there? Okay, thank you. Kenia Vanessa is present. Kevin. Thank you. Kevin Adrián. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Emilia. Present, miss. Thank you. Melba Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rafael. I present, miss. Thank you, Rafael. Yeah. Rebeca Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Rebeca. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Mariori. Jacqueline. Judith Edith. Present, Miss. Present. Yes, thank you so much. Escucho. Yes, yes, I listen. Okay. Yes, I listen. <laughs> Great one. Let me see. Here we have. Oh, yes. Okay. That's nice. Let's go ahead then with our next video. In this one, you are going to observe about the reduction, what we were mentioning, reduction of do and does in the WH questions. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English and notice the reduction of do and does. Yes, now yes, thank you. Okay, let's remember this video, we repeat the video, but I need you to repeat it, this. How can we make the intonation? If we have it here, how do you pronounce it? Kevin, how do you pronounce this one? Complete. And this one. Complete two sentences. Uh -huh. Complete this one and this one, you're going to put emphasis like a, here. Okay. Where do you work? And here, where do you work? Like faster. Okay. Where do you work? Uh -huh. Where do you work? Aha, uh -huh. so it's faster, right? Thank you. Good. Continue, Glenda Guadalupe. The next one is this one. Because Where do you work? Ah, la parte, la segunda sería, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pronounce it faster. Uh, Where, do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? 
Acá este do you suena como do una you? R, como do you. Where are you? Where are you? It's like this. Where? ¿Cómo? Perdón. It's like this. Where are you? This one. Where are you? Uh, where work. are you? Where do you work? Ajá, where that's you good. Work? Y suena más fluido. Where do you work? Diferente a where do you work? Que suena más formal. So we put emphasis on this one. What about the next one? Nevi, continue please. Where does he work? Where does he work? Ajá. Fluid. Where, where do his work? Does. Where does she? Where, where does, does she, she work? work? That's good. Where does she work? Where does she work? Excellent. So it's faster, right? Suena como una sola palabra. Where does she work? Repeat at least. Where does she work? <laughs> where, does, where does she work? Very good. Fly away. That's good. Aaron, continue. Me is una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Por qué she work? Y se escucha como... In this one, in this one uh -huh. we have what happened is that here they are together. Es que aquí está junto. Das de la auxiliar y el he. Y las dos como están juntas, pero es where does she, does she. No suena como does she, but does he, does she. Where does he work? It's like this. Ah, okay, okay. Where does she? Where, where. Does see like this? Where does it work? And the Thank other you, one will be where does she? You're welcome. Where does it work? Where does it work? See. Where does it work? This suena más rápido, más fluido. Es más fácil, incluso es más práctico para pronunciarlo. You did continue the next one. Yo iba. <laughs> oh, yes, Saron, sorry. It was your turn. <laughs> go ahead, Aaron, go ahead. Okay. Where do you, where do they work? Very good. Now, faster. Where do they work? Where do they, where do they? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? That's one. Very good. Nice. You did. Continue. What? What, what do you do? Nice. Faster. What were no, perdón. What do you? What do you? What what do you do? Ajá. Very good. In this one, ese do you suena como como una r. Do you? Do you? you. What okay. do you? What like do you do? Ajá, that's good. What do? Como what do? Como what do? Ajá, similar de. <laughs> What do you do? Uh -huh. Todo lo relaciona what do you, con eso. What do you do? Sí. No, Nevi, no, no sea así. Nevi, pero la verdad que así se escucha. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Eh, sí, aquí a mañana es viernes. Why sí, qué culpa. What do you do? Tenemos That's clase. That's why you are happy. We have class, remember. <laughs> so it's what do you do, no what do you do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> to make it clear, guaru, no guaro, right? No guaro, you do. <laughs> what about the next one? Sandra Margarita, continue, please. What does he do? Aha, uh -huh, that's good. What does he do? Aha, uh -huh, so it, it sounds like this one, right? What does he? What does he? What does what he does do? Aha. What does it do? Very good. Glenda Guadalupe, continue. What do they do? Mm -hmm. uh, why? No, why? What? What do you do? Ahí sería... Guaru, guaru, guaru. No, guaru, guaru. <laughs> <laughs> sería... What do they do? Ah, very good. What do they do? That's correct. So you see the... Intonation changes and the pronunciation. La pronunciación varía, ¿verdad? So here it changes. So we see emphasis on this case. Question about this. Así suena más natural. In a, in a common conversation, you can use it. 
questions? No questions? No. No. no? Okay. Let's go ahead then. Okay, we had here. With Teacher. our next one. Tell me. Entonces, vimos, vimos dos veces el mismo video por esa razón. Because we need to put emphasis on that. Para verlo como más básico antes, de la manera completa, de la manera formal, uh -huh. y la otra Normal. para poner énfasis en que hay otra manera de decirlo en la conversación, pero más, es más natural. Uh -huh. Entonces, se escucha más de esa manera. What do you do? Okay. It's like when you hear, I don't know, you say. No es muy común decir, I don't know. Normalmente se dice, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't know. Se suena como, como Se escucha una, una sola palabra. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. It's like one word. <coughs> so that's like okay. that. natural. Is... It sounds natural. Yes. Any other question? Miss. Yes, tell me. Y no habrá, usted no tendrá algún video donde practiquemos más eso, porque yo siento que a mí se me enrolla la lengua. Yeah, eh, sure. Ajá, entonces. I'm going to send you more ajá, videos. Algo para, para practicar ese, ese más que todo, ese, o así como nos mandó la vez pasada de, de las conversaciones. Ya, yeah, sure. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Le voy a buscar más de esos. Muy bien. Thank el, you. De, el que les envié ahora, bueno, anoche se los envié. Sí, anoche. <ríe> Lo lograron ver. Ese era también de WH. About jobs. And sí, se no lo vi. You didn't watch it? Ahí hay uno. No Ahí hay uno que investiga de los jobs. Este video. Yes. No, Miss, no fue anoche. Fue no. de noche, creo que fue. It was the last night. No fue anoche. Recuerdo que. Quizás ayer. no fue a nosotros, Miss. Ah, es que yo no he visto este video. Okay. Ayer la mayoría solo enviamos eh, las correcciones de la plataforma. Ok, creí que se los había enviado entonces. No, entonces se los voy a enviar de nuevo. Uh -huh. Because I have one exercise and this one. Está el video y está otro que es de, de un ejercicio. Ok. Para practicar jobs and occupations. Ok, so the next video, this one is about simple present, but WH questions in conversation. practice where does your brother work in a hotel oh really my brother works in a hotel too he's a front desk agent how does he like it not very much he doesn't like the manager that's too bad what hotel does he work for the plaza that's funny my brother works there too oh that's interesting what does he do actually he's the manager now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where, 
Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so as you could observe there, we got with the simple present WH questions, the ones we were repeating here. What happens with Rosa? Ah, no charge. Okay. Let's see then. We have, where do you work? We know that very fast, fluent, natural. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? Or what do you do? I'm what a doctor. Do you do? That's good. How do you like it? Remember this one you investigate? Like, what's your opinion about that? Is that, do you like it or not? How do you like it? I really like it. Realmente me gusta. I really like it. Where does he work? Or where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? Or what do they do? They're what waiters. How do they like it? They hate it, so they don't like it very much. Now, let's complete this partner. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. In the number one, what does your sister do? How can yeah. it be? Right? It says, my sister, she's a nurse. Which one is the other one? Where does... Where does oh, she look? She but likes... here is an opinion. It's difficult, but she loves it. Where does she? How does? How does ah, she? Like how does she like it? So it's an opinion that it has. How does she like it? Like here. How does she like? So we need base form of the verb because you have the auxiliary. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. What about number two? Where? Where? Yeah, because you have a place in the answer. That's good. Where? Does he work? Where does your brother work? Work. Okay, nice. Work. We have base form of the verb again. Where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, what's next? How? He doesn't How? really like it. How? Uh -huh. How? That's good. Ask an opinion. How does he? Like it. Like it. Like it. Excellent. How does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Number three. What is next? Sure. Emily? Where? How, right? Well, how do your parents? How do your parents? How do your parents like, like their job? Uh -huh, that's correct. How do your parents like their jobs? Right. Uh -huh, ask an opinion, right? If they like or they don't like. Oh, I guess they like them. Uh, what is guess? You know about guess? Oh, I guess they like them. What's guess? Guess yeah. is like soup. Suppose, supongo, o creo, uh -huh. creo o supongo, de suponer, right? I guess they like them. I don't remember. What is Where? next? 
Aha, uh -huh. yeah, because the answer is says in an office in the city. Correct. So that will be where. Where do they work? Work. work. Where do they work? In an office in the city. What about the next one? Kevin, what about number four? Where? Number four. Um, uh -huh. Where do you work? Look, in the answer it says, I'm a student. Mm. What do you do? Excellent. What do you do? What do you do? about the occupation, right? What do you do? I'm a student. I see. What is next? The answer is very good. How do you How do you like class? Perfect. How do you like your class? Very good. I like them a lot. Okay, we have this short conversation here. Do you have questions about this? No questions? Okay, I'm going to send you then exercise and videos. Me voy a enviar de nuevo ejercicios y videos. Okay? To see more practice. And remember, tomorrow we have class, right? Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Sweet Bye. dreams. Bye. Take Bye. care. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow, Miss. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, night. Miss. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Good night, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night, good everyone. Night good night.